Well, all right, guys, what's happening out there, Sky Masters? How are you guys doing? We got a really cool thing today to show you. It is the No Man's Sky Model Viewer. Now, I am doing this for a friend. I did this a long time ago, and it was a lot different of a process. I found this tool, and it seems to make this process a lot easier. There is some indications in here that, that suggest that maybe this tool has been out for quite some time, and maybe I could have saved myself a little bit of a headache before, because because this thing is super easy to use. So um, upon first going in here, I downloaded from their GitHub page here. I'm going to put a link in the description and I'm going to try to save you a little bit of a hassle here because the first time I downloaded this, I went right to the code like I would normally do and downloaded it. But over here, there's four, there's releases over here. And if we come into here, we can see the latest release up here and we can just uh, click on this asset right here and then we can download this zip file now if you don't have a zip file or an unzipper and you're this far and you're thinking about doing modeling and stuff like that then you need to probably just stop <laughs> you need to have an unzipper you need to know what a zipper is and if you don't I suggest maybe going back and, and, and hitting the 101 books a little bit more before you proceed any further um, but yeah yeah, you're going to need the unzipper for this. All right, now that that lesson is over and we're downloading it, I've already downloaded this and I've got it in a folder over here. I'm going to show you this. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this down. Again, the link will be in the description. Now, you can see that I have this zip folder right here. And basically, I've come in here and I just told my program to unzip it here where it's at. Now, all these folders that you see in here and all this cool stuff is what has unzipped out of this folder and it's going to be um, running itself from here. Now, this is a portable kind of a program. It runs itself from this file and it kind of closes itself out, uh, which is kind of a, I, I like programs that are portable like this. I respect them. So let's go in here and open this up and get you guys pointed in the right direction. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Now, when you first open this thing up, it's going to go, hey, if you don't have your No Man's Sky Steam folder on your C drive, I think it gets confused and it doesn't know where to look. If you're like me, I have my uh, No Man's Sky Steam folder on my H drive SSD, and you need to tell this program where to look. Now, in files open uh, up here, you can see there is an open file. Oh, no, hold up. Up here we've got settings excuse me and no man's sky installation folder you can see that I have mine on H library steam apps common no man's sky game data game data okay there's three in there I'm gonna show you actually my folder I have it on my uh, desktop here and then you can see um, I've got my modding folder PC okay, I showed the whole address here let me show you guys here. Common, No Man's Sky. See, and when you're No Man's Sky, after your comma, uh, your commons, you got No Man's Sky. You've got binaries, game data, and No Man's Sky debugger. Um, I've got this. Uh, you want to go into game data. All right. And then just touch the game data, and that's it. I'm just kind of showing you guys a little bit more thorough. I went a little bit extra far. Sorry about the confusion. If that confused you, but there is the address where you want to go wherever your steam library lies i don't know where it's at okay mine's on h tom's is on c uh bob's is on d whoever else is on g i don't know how many drives you got and where you put everything but this is where you're gonna tell this program where to look and without doing that it's uh it's going to be confused once you do this and you got that right hit save it's going to tell you that you need to restart the program okay um I don't think it's going to do that for me now, but it's uh, the settings are saved, and it's going to tell you to restart the program. Uh, so you would exit out, or it'll prompt you to exit out. So exit out of the whole thing again. We'll exit out, and then you'd start it back over. Now, once you start it back over, it's going to load up all the models that are in that location in your game data folder. Now, what this thing does, first thing you want to do, okay, so these are up here. I'm going to show you their uh, open file from PAK. Now, 
in here we have a whole bunch of files now I've got a lot of ship modded files from Winder TP so the first thing that comes up are all of his Winder TP's custom uh, uh, ship uh, files that are in the game right now so these are actually not in the game these are a mod file on PC you can see I've got the Falcon and the X-Wing and all kinds of cool stuff no those are not in there and that's not what you guys get okay <laughs> but down here you can start seeing some more assets that are in the game that are that you're actually going to see so let's take a look at some um, uh, let's say a spacecraft fighter wings this is a uh, wing style it looks like let's go ahead and double click on this now that it's in here now there's one thing funny about this UI is it's very slow on the camera it tells you over here on the right hand side of how which buttons are going to be um, the driving the camera in this UI which is WASD you got vertical movement RF and then Q and E it's kind of a, some standard little buttons right there at your fingertips now as I'm pulling back on this it's going very 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 slow what you want to do over here is take your camera speed and take it all the way up and then maybe do even a camera boost slightly okay so now we can pull back and look at this uh, model file and we can turn it around let's see if I can get a a little spin here and we can see that these are the uh, those kind of rounded wings for the fighter that I don't like <laughs> so this is pretty cool we've got them there we got the little guns on the side it's a really dark UI you can barely see it sorry about that I don't know anything to do it it says light distance and lights intensity I've never noticed any difference by changing that <laughs> you guys tell me if you find something but here we go we can take this and go ahead and export this to an OBJ I'm going to export this to my desktop it says squid ship I'm going to go ahead and uh, access another folder here and get kind of organized because I need to do this anyway. So I'm going to add an older folder here and call it Fighter 1. And then I'm going to hit Enter and go ahead and open this up and then take this into, uh, you know, Wing, you know, whatever you want to call it, Wing 1 or whatever. You know, you can get uh, pretty thorough in this. There's actual proper names that you can give these things. This is up to you, however you want to organize, and then hit Save. Okay, so now, uh, let's go ahead and just close this out and then up here you can see this is the file that I put it in you can see it's fighter one and then we have a OBJ file in here which we can take now and open it in our 3d software and we can see that the wings are here and we can spin this around and take a look at this manipulate it in your heart's content throw it in whatever program that you want to throw it into and start manipulating um, yeah, and everything seems to be good on this so far. Um, I thought it would be cool to make a video for my friend because I could keep on doing this for him, but there's thousands and millions of files, and I could give you a fish or teach you how to fish. So here's the model, guys. I don't know what you guys are going to do with them. Print them out, uh, whatever. Throw them in Unreal Engine. Make your own little worlds. I'm thinking about doing stuff like that, too. So uh, this is very interesting to me. Um, yeah, so hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video.